Kill School once again hosted the annual Waterfront Chucker Festival in February. The school turns a section of the harbour into two full-size water polo pools and over 600 competitors from schools across the country descend upon Neisner. What makes this Chucker Festival unique is the fact that it's held in open water. Well, I think the venue is what this is actually all about. The Neisner Waterfront is unique, probably in the world in that sense. And uh, the opportunity to do something like this um, is something that we just had to grab. And it's very special to have something like this, where we can bring 15 schools together. We could probably bring 30 schools together if we really wanted to. And, uh, and play sports, make friendships, um, and also bring to the town something very, really special. I think that this event and, and the uniqueness of this event is in a way an analogy for the school and our mindset at the school. Um, we try to be future-minded and think out the box. And it took a lot of thinking out the box to decide and to pull off something like this. But um, it speaks to the way we, we run our school in general. Um, we are trying to be progressive in our thinking um, and we're trying to, to show that also in our classrooms and our sports fields. It's a real indication of, um, of how we, we, want, we see education and where we want to take it. We don't call this a tournament and we don't want the emphasis to be on the competition. This is a festival. You know, there are many tournaments around the country and I think when a team gets in a bus to go to a tournament, their main objective is to win. Um, and I, I would like to, to, to think that when they come to a festival like this, the main objective is to come and have fun, to uh, find and, and make friends um, and to develop. So we would like to, to think that kids go away from here feeling that um, they have improved their, their, their skills. They don't only play and, and get to, to hone their skills, but they also watch each other. Um, and that whole vibe here in this waterfront um, is what this is all about. Nasa Shaka Festival is now in its eighth year and it's grown from an event with one or two schools to two weekends, prep school and college. There's over 200 games are going to be played over these two festivals by these different teams. And it's astonishing to see from the humble beginnings to where it is now. To have a venue like the Waterfront come on board where, where th this is a world-class venue. And that's the uniqueness of the event. And within that, those 200 games, there's probably 600 friendships that have been formed. And that's what it's about. It's about pulling everybody together and about growing it. Active Education's involvement in Nasna has grown over the last two years. We've gone from being visitors to being part of the community. Uh, everybody knows about the fire, what happened, but what it did to this community is it brought everybody together. And as a result, we've kind of gelled as a group and it's been incredible to see how the values and the, the ethics of the community have come out in a tournament like this. I know it, it sounds really strange, but, but here you've got open arms welcoming into our town to come in and enjoy what the town has to offer. It's about friendship, it's about growth, and it's about developing sport. As a result of all of this, 15 schools in the Nasna area are getting phys ed. Five high schools are getting physical education. Leagues are being started. There's such an incredible movement to make Nasna active. And Nasna is going to become very, very active. And as a result of that, active education is involved. We're involved in setting up, we're involved in assisting. We're, we're using our expertise to put all this together. And it's created an environment where a child can blossom. And that's what we're about. I think everybody wants to see development, wants to see true development. Let's Play is very much part of that because Let's Play is the mouthpiece of development. If you don't see it on TV, you don't know it's happening. So people will always talk and say, oh, there's no development. But there is. There's real development on the ground. And a little festival like this shows what's happening out there. And it's happening, there's probably 500 events happening today through development. And that's what it's about. It's about growing kids into the sportsmen of next year.